Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode six of our FTB Skies Let's Play series, uh, where today we are getting a little bit digital, getting some power flowing, uh, and trying to help manage this inventory system. I hate hopping between chests back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so that's what we're taking care of today. So let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to a beautiful night here in the world of the Andrada. Uh, where today we've got a lot of things to do. I actually have a note uh, in my phone of things that I want to work on uh, throughout the next couple episodes here just to keep track of things because our to-do list is ever growing and I need to figure out what we have to do in order for all of these things to happen. Uh, so anyway, in between episodes, uh, where we left off last episode uh, is outside of the scope of my memory because, you know, I recorded a few days ago because I record these in batches uh, about five at a time anyway. Um, that being said, oh yeah, we left off exploring the nether and I said I was going to go exploring on my own and uh, do that. Let's pop into the nether just to see where exactly I went and I'll give you guys a little little tour of not very much TBH. Uh, but if we go ahead and open up the map, uh, I was able to fly, we started out at this one uh, and then found this guy over here, the Soul Sand Valley. And looted this guy out. The advantage with these Soul Sand Valleys, the uh, in the warp, the warped blocks here, Endermen spawn here because it's a warped forest, which is great because Ender Pearls galore. Um, so we end up getting Endermen here, and then I flew up here and found this one. And as you notice, like I flew a lot, a uh, lot, a lot, a lot of blocks, and ended up not finding very many. It kind of seems like maybe like. It, it's very odd that this is pretty much in line with this one. And this one is pretty much in line with this one. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's a, probably a grid system going on with how these things are spawning. Um, so I imagine there is probably going to be one somewhere in this area. Um, let's see. This is what? Uh, I can't. It's so small down there. I can't see. Uh, we're at like 13, 374 and 14. So about a thousand block gap between them. And then maybe a thousand blocks over here and then a thousand blocks over there. We would find another one and then it's just going to be on a grid system expanding out. I don't know. That's just based on these three points that I have. We could validate that, but we'll, maybe in a maybe in a bit we can see. Um, I really don't need to explore anymore because let me tell you, uh, if you didn't see the title of last episode that the loot in this pack is absolutely cracked, uh, it's beyond cracked. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. To be honest, I feel kind of kind of guilty getting all this loot and everything like I like like I'm cheating because there is so much stuff. First things first, I got a jetpack. There was a stalwart jet electrum jetpack of health. So I have my wooden jetpack uh, somewhere. I think I put it in here. Oh, by the way, I upgraded my chest to iron chest. I was running out of room because, uh, well, things like that. Um, we got a wooden, the wooden jetpack, copper jetpack, sorry, in here. Uh, and yeah, I replaced it with our stalwart jetpack of electrum. Because it's a tier three, it holds 10 million RF currently at 1.5. Uh, it gives us some extra armor. I don't know if we get the armor benefits by it being in this slot versus being in our normal slot. But I mean, like, this is much better armor for us anyway. So we kind of double dip, but I don't think we get the armor benefits with it being here. Uh, and it's much faster, too. Like, if I were to uh, max this out, uh, what is my key for hover? Nope, that's not it. Uh, excuse me, G, there we go. So if I max this out and fly, it is pretty darn quick. Now, granted, it does use power faster, but 60% uh, is a pretty decent speed to be able to control it and get nice little boost hops and everything like that without having to worry about running out, um, flying off the edges and things. Yeah, so we got that guy, uh, jetpack for us. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Obviously, all the armor that we got last episode. Um... Let's see, we got all of this, some of this stuff that we had seen in the last episode, a couple of things that I know we didn't. Uh, I got Terra Steel, literally enough to make a Terra Steel ingot, um, which I know that in order to, we need nuggets in order to make nat Natura pylons, so we could literally jump straight to these. 
um, or we can get uh, mana pools, which is two mana pools in one block, or the Elven Gateway cores. We could literally open up the Elven Gateway, like, practically immediately. Like, no big deal with that. Um, not only did we get Terra Steel, we got Ender Chests, seven of them, which is absolutely perfect. We got a whole bunch of source. Uh, we got basic processors from Refined Storage, which reminds me that Refined Storage is in this pack. I didn't realize it as we were going through, but if we go through the digital storage path, um, we have to get into AE2 in order to get Fluix Crystals and the Inscribers going. But from there, we can branch into AE or we can go into Refined Storage. And y'all know me. I'm I'm a, I'm a refined storage stand. I'm going to go the refined storage route. It's just easier. It's just easier to wrap my head around. I don't have to worry about managing channels and all that stuff. I just, you know, I just put my block down, let it work. I'm a fan of that. I don't want to deal with everything. Um, I got a bunch of different swords and axes and all that stuff. Uh, some extra armor. I got another jetpack, by the way, two jetpacks. Uh, so we have that one. What I will probably do is um, charge one of these guys or charge both of them. Keep one of my backpack because my backpack is soul bound. Um, so then that way, if I die, I have a jetpack available to me. And I'll probably like keep a full set of this armor, too, if I need it. Um, let's see what else do we get. We got some gems, some epic gems. I don't really know what these are necessarily or what these are used for. Socketing into gear, kind of like Diablo and things like that. But um, yeah, and then, you know, just 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 a whole bunch of just miscellaneous stuff. On top of that, we ended up with all of this pixie dust, Dragonstone. Uh, we ended up with uh, Amethyst Shards. Not terribly too many of these ones, uh, actually. Not enough that it really kind of helps boost us or anything. We still need to get into... Well, honestly, I got to figure out how to get these. That's a change since I last played in 116 uh, for the most part. So I got to see how do we grow these or, or do stuff with these to get extras. So we'll figure that out. Um, but we got Certus Quartz. We got Springling Shards, which I don't know what these are. Uh, but again, we'll we'll figure that kind of stuff out. And Ender Pearls, too. Can't can't deny that we got Ender Pearls. Um, man, I ate food. I want I specifically left myself hungry so that I could show you guys this nether skewer that I got uh, and what it does. But completely forgot about that. So I ate it. Oh, well. So that's that. And in between episodes, I've been working on chopping down my tree farm, getting myself some uh charcoal cooked up because i want to start getting into power i have been shoving coal and charcoal into here so we're sitting at about one and a half million rf stored up in here um which has just taken a while i afk'd for a bit and let things run um i did go ahead and feed our barterer here a couple stacks of gold ingots i mean didn't terribly get us too many uh, super good things, not anything crazy. We got hoglin hides and blaze rods, which are handy. Wither skull fragments and wither roses somewhere around here. The wither roses are pretty OP to be able to get by now. Um, but outside of that, it's not anything super ridiculous here. That as far as I can see, like some some upgrades, a lot of Tetra stuff. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. I want to move that some liquid meat. Yum. Delicious. Empty spell books from uh, hex casting. Don't know about that. We'll get into it eventually. And yeah, just just some mis miscellaneous things. Um, let's go ahead and drop my bees off. I put my bees over here. I don't know if I mentioned that last episode, but just that way they're out of our way. I still don't know what to do with these guys, like this whole farm. And then like this block of diamond that it said to set down. But I haven't seen those little fairy things for a while. So, um, yeah. With that, I also went ahead and set up a couple extra um, pedestals. And by extra, I just mean one. So we have one creating dust for us. I think we did that last episode. Uh, so sand, auto hammer, drawer, dust. I also went ahead and set up a drawer of diorite. Just polished diorite, making us infinite diorite. And we'll see why we need that in just a moment. Um, but if we come over here, I went ahead and automated this to a very simple degree. And by automating, it's just literally a chest with hoppers that I have running through. I got rid of the water for the waterlogged. And I just have sand, dust, and gravel being pushed through. Um, because I ran out of, was it redstone? I ran out of something and I got tired of running out of it. So I wanted it. So I decided to just go ahead and do that. Now, so I've just been pulling dust and stuff from over there, throwing it in here. Now that I have the ender chest, I could ender chest it, but it's not that big of a deal right now. What is a pretty big deal is my backpack. Speaking of backpacks, I upgraded my backpack to a diamond backpack. 
Um, but this backpack is now a gold backpack. Not too complicated to make, really. It was just gold. So it's just your an iron backpack surrounded by... Or sorry, it's a backpack surrounded by iron, surrounded, and then you surround that by gold. And then my diamond one would just be surrounded by diamond. Anyway, what's the big deal inside of here is the stack upgrade that I got. That took quite a lot of gold, but notice I have quite a lot of gold available to me. Um, take the gold, uh, take an upgrade base, surround it with blocks of iron, get you a tier one, upgrade that to a tier two. And what that allows is your stacks to multiply by four. So as you can see now, we can hold 256 items per block or per slot instead of the standard 64, which is great. Just allows us to get a nice big back stuffing of all of these things. Coal is what I was looking for specifically, but now we're getting a whole bunch of other stuff, um, which is, you know, always nice. Slime balls, emeralds, uh, cactuses. I did find, I think I bookmarked it somewhere around here. Yeah, void upgrades, uh, expensive, right? Comes from a whole bunch of obsidian, obsidian and obsidian's not the easiest thing for us to get. I was looking at what the usage of cactus was, Cactus can make auxiliary cactus um, blocks, which is destroys excess non-primary item outputs. That's a void thing. That's cheap. One cactus, four iron nuggets. But look, it has a uh, recipe to convert to a void upgrade. So I don't even need to do this. I just make these super cheap things, and I get void upgrades out of them to put in all of my drawers. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. But yeah, so we got that processing and all of that. I'm, we're going to work on, as you can see, we got a hefty to-do list. Let me get away from that portal. It's driving me crazy. Uh, we got a hefty to-do list of things, and part of that is automating uh, and getting pulverizer and redstone furnace and an induction smelter set up and everything. So that way we can uh, handle all of that and tackle that process there. But before we do that, there's a couple things that I want to get going. Um, one of the things that we're going to need going forward that I've been looking through the list is we are going to need some nether quartz. And I don't have any nether quartz as is now, I don't believe. And I don't have any in here because if we don't get a nothing we are making gets us nether quartz. How do we get nether quartz? Well, a couple different ways for nether quartz. Nether quartz can come from uh, uh blah, blah, blah. Batania, of course, by doing, you know, uh, alchemy catalyst or conjuration to get there. But no, not doing that. Sifting, sifting soul sand specifically. I mean, we have sifters set up. That seems to be like it should be pretty easy. Uh, we do have to upgrade ourselves. Well, andesite mesh would get us it. 80% chance. That's actually not too bad. Uh, but we can get an amethyst mesh, probably. Definitely can get a mana steel mesh going, though, at this point, because we got a bunch of mana steel from, um, our exploration it can also come from a uh, crushing macerator of diorite getting us cobblestone getting us nether quartz so we have a couple different options so far um i'm leaning this way slightly mainly because i mean it, it really i can go either way tbh i have the infinite diorite but i'll also eventually have infinite soul sand the issue comes from in order to get soul sand i have to get soul soil uh, and put it on a pedestal over there how do i get soul soil i need a crushing macerator to crush soul sand so it's like uh i need this to get this to get this to get that so this is the route what we're going to work on today i want to get myself a crushing macerator at least one then we can go back to one of those islands that are in the nether because there's soul sand everywhere and i did i did i happen to grab some oh no i grabbed some if I get one soul soil, it will allow me to produce soul sand, which will then allow me to produce nether quartz by throwing it into our sifter. Um, and then from there, it allows us, it opens up the door for us to get a lot of these other things. Like these two are pretty simple, but like if I want to get a controller, uh, I'm going to need nether quartz. A lot of things are going to start requiring redstone comparators, which require uh, nether quartz or just, just, just miscellaneous things that need nether quartz. It's kind of sort of the next resource that we're working towards getting um, that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, while we wait for that, though, I do want to go ahead. Let's get ourselves... Um, three more or th replace those what's it called it's the meshes there with the mana steel because again oh, i'll show you guys that in a minute uh again we got mana steel from our exploration so we can go ahead and make three of these and go take care of that i also did go ahead and uh put an elevator in here elevator is a pretty cheap block elevator 
Uh, it's just string, or sorry, wool and an ender pearl. And wool comes from our flux or flax that we have. I don't have very much left going on. I think, yeah, like two, but we used it. And so I made two elevators and I gave us this little space down here uh, to start building out some sort of a basement kind of thing so we can start running wires. Because again, I'm prepping for um, tech and we don't want to see the wires. Put them under our base. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, and like I said, on top of that, I've been farming up my... Uh, tree stuff so i should have like not terribly too much because i've been smelting all of it which is why i haven't expanded the base portion of things um but that's that so anyway uh amethyst mesh let's go ahead and swap those out can i just like can i do a direct swap or do i have to actually take it out um how do i uh, shift right click get out shift right click and Shift right click. Okay, good. Now I can right click, right click, right click. And we should get more output now. Uh, so that's sand, sand, dust, and gravel. Yeah, looks good. Okay, I could even go get more if I wanted to, but like, I think we're okay with letting that, letting that phase itself out. And andesite meshes, we don't need anymore. We have moved on. We have upgraded. From andesite meshes by the way i tried to uh grass this with some bone meal doesn't work so unless i destroy the delightful dirt this ain't gonna stop don't know what to do about that process anyway let's go ahead and get ourselves some stone we're gonna need some cobblestone i have some on me we can go ahead and start crafting things uh, specifically the stuff that we need for the crushing macerator crushing macerator is going to require four compressed cobblestone which is a uh, Pretty cheap recipe, bam, taken care of. It's also going to require us to get some copper nuggets, a stone cutter, which is some more stone, total of six. Um, I need three, so let me get some more stone cooking up over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight, and let that cook up. I do have my temporal pouch, and you can see I was, it was, two hours. I didn't really AFK for that long. I was just waiting for things to grow, chop down the trees, plant it, move it, refill those things. Uh, so that takes care of that portion of things. We are going to need to get ourselves some copper nuggets uh, with the copper nugget that allows us to get that. We need a flint block, which is going to require me to come over here and grab nine of you. With that, we can go ahead and block it up. And grab the stone that should be done now. Need an iron ingot or two or 58, sure. And crushing macerator should be doable. Bam and bam. Never used this block before, so I have no idea what to expect here. But I do want to go ahead and grab my soul soil or soul sand and place this down and see. Well, how does this work? Bef uh, yeah, let's just go ahead. We'll put it here. I'm going to assume, yeah, it needs power. It's a crusher. It is always on. Since it does need power, it is a good time for us to start working on getting ourselves into um, some pipes and things like that. Um, and you know what? Is Yeah, Dank is in this pack. Let's go ahead and start working on getting ourselves a Dank. Should be pretty cheap to get us the base tier, and we can probably go ahead and upgrade that. Um, barrel? Will a gilded barrel work? Can I convert that back? At this point, I don't necessarily need the gilded barrel. Oh, it does say. Oh, and a carpenter's workbench. Mm, fancy. Mm, don't care about that. Okay, just go in there. I will just make a barrel. Though, so, what's the recipe for a barrel? I can't remember. Okay. Um, am I out of slabs? Was that? An accurate assessment. Yeah, I used all my slabs downstairs. That's nice. Oh, and also, by the way, I found an infinity wand in one of those chests out there. Infinity wand. Literally doesn't break. Perfect. And picked up our angel block that we had down there. Um, Yeah, okay. Dank Null coming soon. Let's go ahead and grab that. If you've never used the Dank before, Dank is an absolutely one of the absolute favorite best mods. Time in a Bottle is my number one favorite, but Dank might be up there like number two or something like that because the Dank Knoll is a fantastic piece of kit. 
Um, I need eight. I mean, I have the redstone, sure. So with the dank null, we can go ahead and upgrade it to the next tier. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and upgrade. Let's go ahead and just get you to the next tier. And then I think next is gold. I don't have enough gold smelted yet, so we'll hold off on getting to the gold tier. Uh, but the dank null is gonna sit here forever. The Dank Null is a great mod. Um, what it can do is it holds items for you. At this tier, it can hold 1,024 per stack. So it's kind of like having the stack upgrade over there. Um, and it can help you build too. So like I could take all my cobblestone in there. I could put dirt in there. I could put the oak slabs in there that I know eventually I'm going to use and everything. Um, I can go ahead and put pipes and stuff in there. And what it'll do is automatically pick those items up and stick it in its own storage. Uh, a couple different modes. Gray doesn't pick up anything. Green would pick up everything that the player touches. Yellow only picks up items that are already present in the dink. And uh, red will void items that are inside of here. So if I get over 1,024 cobblestone that end up you know, on the ground that I pick up, it will void it. Works great when you're in a normal mod pack where you're actually mining and everything like that. It's a fantastic mining tool. We probably won't end up using that portion of things while we're playing a skyblock because we don't mine things. Uh, but I'll keep it on overflow anyway. It doesn't count when you pick items up. I don't like if I. Yeah, see, it doesn't I have to actually it has to be in the world and then I pick it up. Now it went into the dank. Uh, you can unlock frequency. Don't necessarily know what that is. There's probably wireless transfers, maybe. Um, compresses, 3x3 three three and 2x2 two two recipes, and you can sort them by greatest to least. That's all cool, fine and dandy. Um, but if you press I by default, you now switch your dank into construction mode, which is allows you to access all of those blocks. Holding shift and scroll wheel, you can scroll through the different blocks and place them straight from the dank. Then you break them, you pick them back up and middle click works. So you can middle click switching to your blocks. So basically uh, you end up with uh, one block, holds all of your blocks for you, helps tremendously with inventory. You can use them like a backpack and stuff too. There is a, as far as I know, there's a dock where you can, it looks like the dock is disabled in this pack. There is a dock though that you can dock it to and then have basically infinite storage for a lot of things. Like if you go up to this, that can hold max int of items. Uh, though it looks like it requires nether stars, I'm assuming. Yeah, but yeah, like max int of any items that you want, that's an infinite storage system. And it has how many slots? I don't even know, doesn't say. Uh, super powerful. So dank storage is great because it allows me to manage inventory significantly better. So our next step is to get ourselves some energy pipes. So I'm going to need that redstone that I had back um, because energy pipes are going to allow us to just, you know, transfer energy around. That block only has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Look, I can count correctly. Uh, six sides that we have access to plus one side's got to be the input. So only five, but energy pipes are going to allow us to, um, not have to deal with that. Okay, so a block of redstone, and we took care of that. Energy pipes gets us 16 pipes. I'm also going to need the wrench from this mod, uh, which is gonna require two flint. And wrench. I do also have upgrades on here. Is the morpho tool in this? That might be another thing. Oh, a morpho tool, perfect. Add that to my to-do list. Yes, I need green dye. Cooking up cactus gets me that. Uh, that's lapis. And I do have a daisy floating around. Or a poppy. I can get that too. I could get a morpho tool. We'll talk about the morphing tool next episode. I'm not going to make you sit through that as well. Uh, energy pipes, though, are going to be great. Because I can go ahead and do this and this. And link those two machines together. I can set the back of this. Uh, so this direction is going to be north. I can set the north of this to be an export or allow power to come out of this which will then allow me to set the pipe wrench and shift right click allow that to extract and it should pull power into our crushing macerator for us and we can expand that as needed and i can go ahead and throw these into our dank here and now whenever i need to energy pipes i can just either scroll to them or Shift click and I have access to it at any time without having to have it all hogging and clogging up my inventory. And again, that is why I love the dank null. 
Okay, so we got our crushing macerator going. If I go ahead and throw soul sand in there, it should crushy, crushy it up, and we should end up with soul soil. Perfect. And with that soul soil, I can now go ahead and work on getting myself another material generator and a pedestal uh, and getting all of the things that are needed for that. So let's go ahead. Um, there's probably another block I'm going to use. Man, I didn't think I was going to end up with this many pedestals, but they are powerful. So why not? Soul soil will go here, pedestal, generator, chest, all of that good stuff will end up here. I'm not concerned about it this episode, though. I'll work on that in between. You've seen that happen, so we'll we'll allow that to, uh, you know, sit and stew over there for a little bit. What I do want to work on this episode and see what our next option is, there's a couple of different things. First things first, wireless power, some sort of wireless power do we have access to? I believe Cyclic has wireless energy transfer nodes which don't seem to be too expensive they do require um nether quartz so we'll need the nether quartz for this but outside of that they're not terribly too expensive other than this crystallized amber did i already have that bookmarked i must have because nothing got added to my tab curious to see wireless transmission of energy how does that work because my next goal that I would like to get as an interim bridge for our storage issues that we're having here uh, is having like having to run back and forth for everything. Let's see. I got that. Nope. Amethyst mesh. Well, that's OK. I don't have enough of that. Um, a storage scanner from RF tools storage scanner. Oh, you know what? I can actually go ahead and make this now. Yeah, I believe this needs. Yeah, it needs power. Um so that it can access. But I mean, I could run a pipe over here temporarily. Uh, let's make it and then we can talk about what the storage scanner does. So we need, what do we need for this? And that should get us this episode. Two ender pearls. This is kind of a waste of my ender pearls now, but again, I have access to, I can go fly around and go get ender pearls pretty easily. Gold ingot, uh, redstone, sticks, um, lapis or well blue dye specifically and not you you're for future projects uh and gold nuggets okay you and then we're gonna need to get you which is a gold nugget also i honestly don't know what the range of this thing is so we might be okay Probably not, though. Like, I highly doubt that that's close enough. Uh, storage scanner, though, allows us to scan inventories within a range. Uh, what that range is, is the question. Um, let's go ahead and say on the south side, output power. You don't automatically output. Okay, so you can't push power out of you. It actually does have to be hooked up with a uh, pipe. So that's good to know. Take you there. Let's grab my handy dandy pipe wrench, export power into you, and scan. Isn't there a button to scan? Do I need to do anything fancy pantsy with this? Let's see. Uh, storage scanner. Storage scanner can remotely access inventories in an area around it. Set the radius in the bottom left corner, then click scan. Select an inventory from the list to access it. Yeah, that's what I thought. But there's no bottom left corner doesn't have anything. Is it because there's no nothing nearby? Do you maintain your power? Hmm, curious. Uh, what if I go ahead and place this over here? Do you maintain your power? Yeah, look, there's no button to scan. Y'all are seeing this, right? That's recipes. I don't need recipes. I need, need my scan button. It should be over here, shouldn't it? Storage scanner is a powerful block that can search nearby inventories and display items in them. It is also possible to access those items and store them again, as as I thought. storage and that's it that's literally that's that's literally the only thing but it's not working uh brb okay 
Um, confused. Don't know exactly what's going on. From what I understand, there's supposed to be a scan button that says here. I pulled up a couple of videos. Granted, they are pretty old. Um, but I just there's this little slider here. I slid it and it says the radius that the scanner will use to find storages. So I just use that um, and it's able to access all of these storages. I can click on them and see the items in there. It's also not using any power at all. Um, and if I wanted to craft something like, let's say I want to craft a, um, I don't know, uh, a, uh, I'm trying to think what do I need a market? Cause we're going to want one of these things eventually. Uh, if, can I craft that? No. Craft one. Okay, so it's telling me I'm missing those things. Dark oak log. Specifically, I need dark oak log. That's going to be lovely uh, for when we get to that. Okay, let, let's just craft. I don't. <laughs> what's something that we need? I don't know. Um, gold block. Sure. Gold block. Do I have enough gold in this system? I should. So if I do that and I craft one. So do I not have enough gold in one of these chests? I swear I do. Yeah, there's enough gold there. Do I have to. Huh. Like it can see it, but it's not routable. What is that? Oh, okay. So then I can shift click and that puts it in. Okay. So I have to click on. Oh, okay. So I, have to, I see. I have to add it to the scannability. Okay. So I click that and it basically it bookmarks it, I guess. I don't know. It's adding it to the ability to scan, though. Uh, and that's one of those iron chests that I didn't act, I actually didn't intend to make, but whatever. Um, there's that. There's that. Sure. Blast furnace. Don't need you to be in there, by the way. I guess I don't need these things linked up to this, right? Like, and I don't need this gold chest linked up or that chest. So we can actually decrease the radius a little bit. Seven six and that gives me access to all those now if i click on all routable it shows me okay now it shows me all the items um let's sort by descending so i can see what i have the most of which is books yeah okay i like that kind of sort of like our rf tools and everything now i can look at this and i can actually craft the items uh, and if i shift click i can clear that out and then if i go ahead and put things in now the thing is it's going to export to any container it's not going to go to any specific so it kind of flubs up my organization system here but does that really matter now that i have access to um being able to grab any item that i want out of any chest that's over here uh, and it's not using terribly too much power so honestly i don't really need to necessarily run anything i can just come over here and grab it whenever i need to um and yeah and it allows me to craft so i'm not going to complain i think i'll leave it there uh, i'll leave it there in the past i have had issues with some recipes not wanting to craft inside of here so i'll keep our regular crafting station here um but yeah Bada bing, bada boom. We can now have scanning storage. I can't even expand it. it. It does expand far enough to be able to access these uh, drawers and everything, but I really don't need to go that far out. I don't think. Though I guess maybe having access to like the dirt and everything. I mean, it's a 20 block radius. I can actually access everything. I'm pointing over there to my left with my hand. Everything over there in our thing. Can it access the backpack? It's actually got a really wide range. It can't access the backpack, though, it looks like. Interesting. So no backpack access here. But I can access all of the drawers. So I guess I'll we can go ahead and route all of the drawers. Why not? That way I have access to those things so I don't have to go back there to grab things. What's in you? You're the piglin chest? Sure. Barterer, dynamo. That's the gravel and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. I like that. I'll take that. Now I have access to everything. Beautiful. One last thing I do want to point out back here. I went ahead and made myself a fluid drawer and we had all those copper upgrades. So I threw it in there. So it's going to be able to hold 8,192 buckets of lava because I had this guy full with its 32. And I'm like, well, I don't want it to just stop and everything. So we have 32 buckets plus, you know, 19 extra in here. And it's basically just going to be able to run indefinitely for us. Um, but yeah, that's our storage scanner. 
clear all that off our to-do list. And that's basically what I wanted to get done in preparation for us being able to move on and do uh, a couple other things. Let's get this stick out of here. And we're going to go with events, toggle, FTB skies, stick, and turn that off. Okay, so we're going to turn off the sticks so we don't get sticks anymore. Don't care about the sticks. Um, you should, until I get the morphing tool, you should go, no, let me put you in a slot. Nope, not what I intended. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Okay, now he'll go back in that slot. Uh, let me eat this and show you. These nether skewers are pretty cool. Uh, when you eat them, they turn into blaze rods. Nifty, and they're actually pretty decent food. Anyway, that allows me to easily access crafting, which is always the struggle. That's the jump to digital storage that I like to get to so that crafting itself uh, is easier. So now that I have access to an easier method of crafting, we can go ahead and start working on getting a lot of these different things done. So like I said, I have my redstone furnace and my pulverizer going on here. Let's go ahead and put those to the top of the list because that's going to be my next goal that I want to get um, along with our induction smelter, which is you. Uh, once I get those three done, those are kind of sort of your basic tools for thermal, gets you going with some processing. I can help start automating, crushing and processing some of those things. Um, and then with that, I want to start working on getting power taken care of. Uh, my next goal for power is right now we're running off of coal or and or charcoal. And that's requiring me to manually farm these trees. Eventually, I do want to get a tree farm, but I'm not about that life just yet. I want to go ahead and get into the uh, arboreal extractor route, get ourselves some spruce, Go with a compression dynamo, and that gets us infinite power generation. Not the greatest, but not the worst either. Um, so with, and that gets us, yeah, we, we don't have to worry about getting power. It gets us infinite power, and it's completely renewable um, through these machines. My biggest concern here is the market, but that, that requires just any sort of logs and red wool. So I, I don't even know why that was, like, freaking out earlier, probably because I just didn't have those things linked. But I should now, if I wanted to, be able to craft the red market other than I just need red wool. And this will allow me to buy a spruce seed and get a spruce sapling going uh, so that we can, you know, do the craft for that. So that's going to be our goals uh, going into the next episode or so. I do also want to get ourselves the energy transfer. And then as you can see, towards the end of our goals, we are going to work on getting storage controllers and oak drawers and uh, refined storage and taking care of all of this mess and moving some of this, like the drawer system I want to have set up down here, get some pipes and all that stuff going and start making things look nice and organized and all of that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's basically where we are at. In between episodes, I'll go ahead and get ourselves the soul sand uh, generating and trying to start getting us a little bit of quartz. I'll start sieving it up so we can get some quartz going, uh, which will allow us to actually do all of the hopes and dreams that I have. Um, I want to start getting like this coal, but at the same time, I want to wait. I'm sorry, uh, some smelting done, but I want to wait until we get the pulverizer and the smelter because. Um, it's more efficient and I can smelt one to one. I don't have to worry about burning and wasting coal and everything. So um, that's where that's at. So, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.